I'm back. I had to take a hard reset after um, the fall semester because I was so busy. I had a million things going on. I really wanted to make sure that I was ready for second semester. Anyway, long story short, I felt that I deserved a break, so that's why I didn't post any videos for a couple weeks, but I'm going to get back in the swing of things starting today. I have a video coming out on Monday as well as a video coming out on Thursday or Friday. So this is my monthly favorites video. I have beauty, I have an electronic, and I have a movie that you seriously have to see. Starting with beauty, I tried out a bunch of new products in the month of December. The first one is the ever famous boy brow. It just comes in this little tube and you unscrew it and it has sort of a mascara-like tip and you just brush it through your brows like so. Um, I'm actually wearing it right now and, and you can see that my eyebrows look pretty defined. I'm only wearing this and then just a little bit of eyebrow pencil like to fill in this part of my eyebrow but I don't have anything on the outsides. I think it looks really natural, it stays on and I think it looks really pretty so yeah this is definitely something I'd recommend purchasing. Um, I have mine in brown. I actually have two of them and um, I know that when I run out of my second one I will be buying a third because I think it's a great product. My second product from Glossier is um, the Cloud Paint in Haze and it is basically a liquid blush. So you unscrew the top and it just looks like that and you just squeeze out a little bit of the product and a little bit goes a long way. So this little tube will last me a long time. I know I won't be needing to repurchase this in a while, um, but I have been considering purchasing the Cloud Beat in other colors. I just, I really like it. I think it's it leaves a really natural sort of dewy um, finish without being like sparkly. And you can also put a little bit on your, li on your lips. I think it's really pretty and looks really natural and definitely something I would recommend purchasing. I will be purchasing it in other colors. Take my word for it. The final product from Glossier that I want to talk about, and I think it's my favorite product from them, is um, the Generation G lipstick in the shade Zip. It's what I have on my lips right now, and I love this lipstick. But it just comes in, you know, this same Glossier packaging. The logo's here and then Generation G in this size. First of all, the applicators, it's a nice small um, applicator so you can be really precise with your application. Secondly, it is sheer. I have it on my lips right now and you can kind of see that it isn't a super thick lip color. And the other best part about it is it's matte while still being moisturizing. A lot of matte lipsticks that I have and have tried, even liquid to matte lip colors, you put them on and then after wearing them for like 20 minutes, they just dry on your mouth and you get a crusty line on the inside of your mouth and it's just no good. This does not do that. This, I just, it feels really nice in, on the lips. I think it looks really good. And I think this color zip is really pretty. But yeah, I love it, I love it. And I wanna buy more, it's just, if you're looking for a new lipstick, I would definitely try this one. And the um, fourth and last beauty product that I'm talking about is Your Skin But Better CC Cream by IT Cosmetics. Looks like this. And this is one that I've been wanting to try because Lily Pebbles, a YouTuber that I talked about in my last um, favorites video uses it all the time. She said it's kind of her go-to um, Foundation and I ran out of mine and was looking to purchase um, a new one So I thought I'd give this one a try. I see why she likes it so much. It has a really good coverage without looking cakey on your face um, It's also very moisturizing and it's SPF 50 which is really good. You are putting on your makeup while also um protecting your skin. Um, I do think it's moisturizing, it definitely protects your skin, and I think it looks really nice on. So this is something I'd like, I think, something I would recommend. Additionally, on top of it being a nice product, the packaging is really good because it's a pump. What's frustrating about a pump is a lot of products can be stuck in the bottom of the bottle that you can't get to, but it's, both a pump and a squeezy thing, sort of best of both worlds, which I think is just absolutely genius. So anyway, this product's awesome. I would highly recommend purchasing it if you're looking for a new foundation. And yeah, 
Love it. The next thing I'm talking about would be under the technology category, and it is my Apple Watch. I don't know how to, boom. And I know it's pretty lame, a lot of people have Apple Watches, big deal, but I just wanted to talk about this because an Apple Watch was never a product that I thought that I really wanted. I sort of just thought it might be a cool thing to have. It was never something that I, um, you know, thought about saving my money for and buying. I actually got this as a gift from my boyfriend for Christmas. Mine is the Series 1. It's completely customizable, so you can customize the screen as however you want. Um, you can change the color of the font. You can decide whether you want um, a modular screen that has like different buttons on it where you can go to your text messages, you can see your steps and activity, um, the time, the date, the weather, things like that. Or you could have, you know, a regular clock face. You could do, um, you could set a photo as your background. There are all sorts of options. You can swipe up, and there's a little button on here. That was my phone. It pages your phone, so if you ever lose your phone, you can find it. And I don't know, maybe this is super lame. Maybe everyone knows this, but I didn't really realize that. I lose my phone all the time. And when you live alone, you don't, you can't be like, hey, will you call my phone? Because no one else is here, it's just me. And it's so convenient for um, looking at text messages. My wrist buzzes, I look at it, and I can easily respond with, you know, with the voice texting, or there's an option to sort of, you know, do the thing where you like, scribble it in. This was not something that I knew I wanted until I had it, now that I have it. I wake up and it's the first thing I do is put on my watch. It's definitely something that I think is worth buying and I love mine. Thank you, Greg. Thanks for a good Christmas present. The final thing that I wanna talk about is a movie. I love musicals. Excuse me. I love theater, I love dance, I love performing, I love all that stuff, but I'm not into movies for whatever reason. However, I ended up going to this movie because one of my best friends invited me to and I wanted to see her, and it was a movie that I thought looked really good, so I was like, okay, whatever, I'll go. And the movie is The Greatest Showman, and let me tell you, it is amazing. It's amazing. I love it, it's so good, I've seen it twice, I wanna go again on Tuesday, and I listen to the album probably twice a day. I love it. Zac Efron's so hot, and so is Hugh Jackman, which I didn't even know I thought Hugh Jackman was hot until he saw the movie. But it's so good, the music is awesome, the dancing is fabulous, the storyline is great, and it's just one of those movies that you sit and you watch it and you kind of smile the whole time because you love it. That is definitely a movie that I would recommend seeing. I wanna go to it again, I wanna buy it, I wanna, be in it. I, I mean, it's it's so good. It's so good. Definitely something I would recommend seeing. So I think that's it for my December favorites. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and um, discovered some products that you might want to purchase or that you might realize that you do want to go to the movie theater and see The Greatest Showman and change your life forever. That was dramatic. Have a really great rest of your day or night, whatever time it is for you when you're watching this. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I have a bunch of other videos. I'm working really hard on growing my channel. So anyway, thank you for watching. Enjoy, have a great day. Happy New Year. Good luck with your New Year's resolutions, all that jazz. Have a great one and I will talk to you later. Bye.